Hello everyone. Welcome to the ninth lecture of the course. This is the last lecture of module two. In the previous lecture, we had talked about the knower, known, and the process of knowing. We saw that the self is the knower. The known is the human being, the existence, and the role of human being in the entire existence. And then we saw that the process of knowing is awakening to the activity of contemplation, understanding, and realization. In this lecture, we continue our discussion on right understanding, and we'll see what would be the impact of right understanding on the human existence. So we are discussing about right understanding, that is knowing, and we talked about knower, known, and the process of knowing. Now, in this module two, we have been trying to explore into the right understanding in detail, and in essence, we saw that right understanding, that is knowing, is to see the reality as it is. And we saw that right understanding, that is knowing, is to see the reality as it is and its completeness. Completeness because uh, if you just try to understand the human being and leave out the rest of nature, or you try to study the nature and leave out the human being, ultimately you are not going to see the reality in completeness. So we need to know the whole existence as it is and the role of the human being in the entire existence. We saw that it is the self, that is I, which is the knower, and the whole existence is to be known. That includes the human being, the rest of nature, and the submergence of the entire nature in the space, and also the role of human being in this entire nature. As the process of knowing, we have talked about these three activities, contemplation, understanding, and realization. And we saw that ultimately the process of knowing is to awakening to these three activities. We also and we saw that the content of Contemplation is natural characteristic. The content of understanding is the innate harmony and the content of realization is the coexistence. We saw that the content of contemplation is the natural characteristic that is to see the relationship. The relationship of one unit with another unit. The unit is either material or consciousness. We saw that the content of understanding is the innateness and that essentially means to be able to see the harmony, the innate harmony in every unit. And the content of realization is the coexistence, that is the submergence of nature in space. We looked into the process of understanding in some detail in the last session. And in, and in this lecture, we'll look into some of the realities to be known. So when we say what is to be known, it is the entire existence, and that will mean knowing the human being. So we need to ensure knowledge of human being, we need to ensure knowledge of existence and knowledge of human conduct. That is the role of human being in this entire existence. So these are the three things to be known. And the knowing starts with human being, as we had mentioned in the previous lecture. The more clarity I have about the human being, I am able to get the clarity about the rest of nature also. Otherwise, the assumption that I carry for the human being, they get superposed upon the rest of nature and so on. So we'll try to know the human being, we'll try to know the existence, and we'll also try to know the human conduct, that is the role of human being in this existence. Now talking about the reality to be known, these are the three things to be known, and they are given in a proper sequence. So through the process of knowing described above, we can have the knowledge of human being, we can have the knowledge of existence, and we can, uh, and we can and have we can the have knowledge of human conduct. So just try to make out for yourself. Is there something else to be known or this covers entire thing? This is one thing. Second thing, by looking at these three things to be known, we are saying that the entire existence can be known. So everything can be known. Now, as we discussed earlier, that we cannot gather information about the form and property of every unit in the nature, but certainly we can have the knowing of the natural characteristic, the innateness and the submergence, that is coexistence. So, one takeaway from this lecture would be that you are able to see that, yes, the entire existence can be known. And the title of the course is also understanding the human being and nature comprehensively. So we'll try to comprehensively know the human being, the existence and the role of human being in this entire existence. I hope you are able to see this. So these are the three realities to be known. So we'll investigate into this detail of knowledge of human being in module three. Regarding knowledge of existence, we'll investigate in module four in detail. 
and when it comes to knowledge of human conduct partly we'll try to investigate in module 3 and then again we'll discuss about this in module 5 so this is the way the next three modules are structured so what would be the impact of right understanding on the human existence so in essence we'll see how right understanding reflects in the overall activities of the self and what would be the state of the self with right understanding in completeness Similarly, how it reflects in the human conduct, in the expression, in your behavior, work, participation in the larger order. So a detailed discussion will be done after investigating into the human being, particularly the self that we are going to do in module three. And we'll also investigate into the existence in module four. And after having done that, we'll try to investigate deeper and further in the next module. Now, this is the diagram of the self that we'll keep on bringing to you time and again. Now, if you look at the imagination on the basis of realization, understanding and contemplation, so it will look like this. And we had talked about these activities earlier also. So you can see in this diagram that in the leftmost column, what is written on the top is the power. So we have the power to desire, think and expect. In the next column, you written the dynamic activities. So authentication, determination, imaging, analyzing, selecting, these are the dynamic activity, the state activities are realization, understanding, contemplation, comparing and testing. On the right hand side, you can see what is the content of all these activities with right understanding and showed. So if you see uh, what is to be realized is the coexistence, what is to be understood is the harmony in the nature and what is to be contemplated upon is the participation in the larger order that is the relationship. So if you look at comparing, your comparing is now guided by the knowing of coexistence, harmony and participation in the larger order. So these guide your senses, health and profit. Similarly, your testing is also guided now. So coexistence, harmony and relationship guide your sensation now. So imagination on the basis of these three, that is realization, understanding and contemplation in brief would be that my imagination is now completely guided by right understanding that is knowing no longer my imagination is dictated by any kind of preconditionings. Now, this is a very important statement. The more I am having the right understanding, my preconditionings get done away with, they get evaluated, they get set right. So if I'm having some preconditioning, which is in line with my natural acceptance, it becomes a part of my imagination, which is now guided by right understanding. And if I have some conditioning, which is otherwise, so it gets removed, it gets replaced. For example, if there is some assumption about opposition in relationship, it gets replaced by relationship. Similarly, if there is some assumption about disharmony, it gets replaced by understanding of harmony. And similarly, the assumption about struggle gets replaced by the feeling of coexistence. So this is the way that desire gets impacted with right understanding. Similarly, in comparing, we have the humane basis of comparing which is the coexistence harmony and relationship now on this basis only we analyze whatever we do at the level of thought and similarly now selecting and testing are also guided and the same gets impacted in our behavior work and participation in the larger order with right understanding my behavior with human being is mutually fulfilling my work with the rest of nature is mutually fulfilling and my participation in the larger order is also mutually fulfilling so this is the state of imagination with right understanding, that is realization, understanding and contemplation. Now, if you look at the full expression of human conduct, so I'm able to realize coexistence. I'm able to realize the submergence of nature in space. And this is the realization within. So you can see on the top is written space. And with realization, I'm able to see how the entire nature is energized, self-organized and participating being in space. Now on this basis of realization, my understanding gets complete, my contemplation gets complete, my imagination gets harmonious. The same percolates into my behavior, work and participation in the larger order. Now the competence to ensure mutual happiness with other human being gradually leads to undivided society. So my role in the society is now very much definite. It is always in terms of ensuring mutual happiness. Similarly, the work that I'm doing with the rest of nature, it ensures mutual prosperity in my mutual interactions. And if you look at the expression outside, it 
ultimately leads to participation in the larger order leading to the fulfillment of human goal and that goes up to universal human order and this forms the tradition generation by generation now in this process of knowing we see that presently we might be active only in these three activities that that is desire thought and expectation so we are operating at the level of imaging analyzing comparing selecting and testing and this has to be ensured this is something due isn't it so the more i work for activating block b1 if i try to go up i try to activate these activities isn't it these activities on the bottom get set in order they get harmonious and the same thing goes into my expression here so on one hand i am moving up within me i am moving to the higher activities and in my expression i am gradually moving towards universal human order and human tradition now these are two ends if you see so this is the expression outside that we can see here and this is what i am accomplishing within so on one hand i am moving towards realization and on the other hand i am moving towards this human tradition isn't it and this is what is desirable are you able to see this is this desirable or not try to see try to see whether this is going to happen whether this is something desirable so what i understand within has to reflect in my expression the more i am able to ensure the knowing within me the more it gets expressed in my mutual interactions be it a human being or the rest of nature so this is another way to evaluate if i am able to participate in the human tradition if i am able to participate in mutual happiness mutual prosperity every moment then only i can say that i am moving towards right understanding also and the more i work for right understanding it gets very naturally expressed in my behavior work and participation in the larger order isn't it try to make it out try to explore and verify this part now we can place this development of the self in the discussion of the entire existence so existence is there existence is there as coexistence the units are submerged in space and we had talked about this earlier also that the units are limited in size they are an activity within themselves they are self organized energized recognizing the relationship and fulfilling it but if you look at the space it is unlimited it is no activity the self organization is available energy is there in equilibrium and it is transparent we'll talk about space in detail in module 4 the units are of two kinds material and consciousness and we can see that it is the consciousness unit that has to develop now the self is here and we could see that ultimately the development has to take place in the self and it is not cyclic it is acyclic okay once i develop i remain in that state of development it's not that i am going to go back to my previous state but if you look at the rest of nature if you look at the units of physical order or bio order okay there is a cyclicality involved here the plant grows from the seed becomes a tree and goes back to the soil isn't it we make long tall structures and maybe they go back to the soil after some time so there is a cyclicality involved here and you can see that there is composition and decomposition taking place here but that is not the case with the self there is no composition or decomposition here it's only development which is acyclic so in the entire existence it is only the self which has to develop the self with lack of development with lack of knowing right understanding with lack of development of the activities of contemplation understanding and realization is not in a happy state it is unhappy it does not have the feeling of prosperity feeling deprived but the rest of the nature is already in order so one thing to appreciate is that the entire existence is already in coexistence the units in the nature are already in order it's only the self which has to get into order and that can happen only when we go into this process of knowing and we also see that this has to happen in the self by the self the body merely being an instrument in the process this has to happen in the self by the self 
i hope you are able to see this now here is the picture of entire existence there in front of you and you can see that the units of physical order bio order animal order are already in harmony none of them have the potential to know the self in the human order has the potential to know and unless this potential to know is utilized unless we are able to ensure the knowing in completeness we are not in a state which is naturally acceptable to us in which you would like to continue and we are not at peace we are not in state of harmony and that's how we have to work to develop the self so this transformation is required and this transformation is from animal consciousness to human consciousness now you can see that there are two diagrams here one is the diagram of the self with all the activities in block b1 activated and here is the diagram of the self which shows that the activities are not yet activated in block b1 one is only working in the lower block that is block b2 and only the activities of imaging analyzing comparing selecting and testing are active and that's how we can say that the self living with animal consciousness is ultimately leading to inhuman society and an inhuman society is marked by this having wrong goals wrong assumptions <clears throat> obsession for consumption obsession for profit for sensual pleasure leading to terrorism and war in the society and resource depletion and pollution in the nature so this is the state of inhuman society isn't it now this inhuman self that is the self lacking knowing leads to inhuman society and the society is again uh, not allowing the development of the self in the next generation and this goes on and on you know, generation by generation and this becomes a wrong tradition but if we have to come out of this state then the only way is to ensure the process of knowing and in this process the self develops when the self develops it it is able to participate in a human society fulfilling all the human goals that is right understanding and right feeling in the individual so we can see that a self with right understanding is able to participate in the human society is able to fulfill the human goal there are four human goals which are mentioned here that is right understanding right feeling in every individual prosperity in every family fearlessness that is trust in the society and coexistence in the nature now the self which is developed the self which has the knowing will ensure a harmonious society and this harmonious society will assist in the development of the self for the next generation and this will go generation by generation so this is the kind of society that we want to be in isn't it and this is the process that would like to have ensured so this is the transformation that is required presently we might be here and we want to go to this state and we have to move in this direction and then only we can say that we are progressing as a society then only we can say that we are progressing as an individual so in all our policies that we are making for the society in our plans and programs we have to see whether this kind of transformation is taking place or not or we are only working to add to the physical facilities because ultimately if the physical facilities at the core then this is what is going to result humans living with inhuman conduct okay adding to the domination exploitation fear in the society and then exploiting the rest of nature also so this is something which is to be evaluated this is something to be made out in all our programs and plans and strategies now the basic program that is required for this kind of development is the human education so the human education ensures personal transformation and this personal transformation ensures societal transformation now many times we do talk about the society to be transformed but we do have to understand that unless the human being is transformed the society is not going to get transformed because human beings make the society to transform the society we basically have to work at the level of human being and for that we need to have a human education we need to have an education in place which focuses on the development of the self so just try to make out can we make this the core of our education this development of the self or we have to keep it on the side now this is something to be thought about very seriously so if you look at the human society it has these 
human goals that is right understanding and right feeling in every individual ensuring happiness prosperity in every family fearlessness that is trust in the society and coexistence that is mutual fulfillment in the nature and existence and when we have the family based society that is families are living together having a common goal then this can be achieved but when we do not have this kind of vision this kind of program in a society then what results is inhuman society and that turns into a crowd or a battlefield and these are the results of having this kind of society so a common assumption that is there in the society which is prevalent today is that money is everything and these kinds of false notions can rule the imagination of the people living in the society similarly people are trying to accumulate as much as possible by whatever means possible and that is also somewhat leading to the disorder disharmony in the society if you look at the society we see that there is domination if you look at the society we see that there is domination exploitation fear and when you look at our interaction with the nature we are somewhat trying to master over the nature exploiting the nature now if you go by this then of course it is going to result into multifarious problems now this kind of assumption that money is everything has somewhat become prevalent in every individual every family is trying to accumulate as much as possible by whatever means possible uh, but of course this cannot be there for every family so only few families may be able to do this in the society we can see domination fear and in the nature we can of course see the masculine exploitation and this has resulted into various kinds of obsession like obsession for consumption profit and sensual pleasure in the society we can see that there is lot of terrorism there is lot of possibility for wars and now that the nations have atomic weapons nuclear weapons so even this is being questioned whether this earth is going to exist or not of course the earth will exist but it may exist so this is also being questioned whether this earth is going to be a livable place in the future or not and in the nature we can see that there are problems of resource depletion pollution and this is there when individuals are having uh, different or opposing goals when the family is not at the base people are living to fulfill their individual goals and which are not common to other individuals then of course this kind of society is going to result and there is the requirement for ensuring this transformation from animal consciousness to human consciousness from in human society to human society this is something that we have been reiterating talking about time and again so you have to think about this this is a very serious concern so you have to think about this whether we are going to continue with this kind of state or we are going to work for this and then who is responsible who is going to own the responsibility for this so if you look at yourself you have to start with yourself isn't it if there is not much provision in the society to fulfill the human goal we have to create that provision the good thing is that every human being naturally has the acceptance for this human goal only because of the key conditionings or dependence on sensation for happiness the society may be moving in the wrong direction but ultimately if we are able to ensure this kind of vision in our education yeah. then, then certainly we can transform the society from the current state to the desired state so think about this this is something worth pondering upon worth consideration so now we have homework for you so you can see that human being is an integral part of this nature and existence with a specific role to play so our role is very much specific definite and this is something common to every human being units of the other orders physical bio or animal have a predefined participation and they are in harmony performing that participation only in the case of the human being it has to understand and play its existential role to be able to be in harmony and therefore in a state of happiness and you and me are one of them so as an assignment you have to uh, write down the impact of right understanding on human being and we'll study all this in detail in the lectures to come so as the lectures progress you'll be having a better clarity of your role in the entire existence and in the fifth module of course we are going to talk about human conduct so in this lecture we talked about right understanding we continued our discussion that we were having in the previous lecture and we had a look at the impact of right understanding on the imagination in the self and in living and we saw that there are two ends to be met 
within the self i have to reach the state of realization and in my expression i have to reach the state of universal human order generation by generation something that can be termed as human tradition so this is all for the lecture today thank you